Morning One, it's Nancy, and I'm back with another video for Carla001. And as promised, I'm going to show you how I made this snowflake right here, and then the little snowflakes like these out of trims from Carla's store. So to make the little tiny one, this little one right here, right there. You're going to use this trim right here, okay? So what you're going to do is just cut off one piece and I'm going to move these to the side. So I have the one piece cut and if you really look at the piece, you can see that going around the whole thing is little bitty pieces. Okay, and they're all attached together in the middle. So the first thing you're going to do is go all the way around it and snip right in between those, okay, all the way around. Once you've done that, I use these scissors because they have a really, really fine, fine tip, um, finer than the Tim Holtz ones. And what I do is I go up from the bottom you could hold on it right in between where those where the little petals are I go up from the bottom and I just snip it off okay and what you're going to do is you're going to cut off every other one all the way around And you can cut this, you know, with scissors, or you can do um, X-Acto or a craft knife. Whatever is easiest for you, it really doesn't matter. So just snip every other one out. Okay, and when you get to the other side you'll see that there's two side by side that are left so there's not an auto mount so what I do is I just pick one it really doesn't matter and I go ahead and snip it off so when that one snips off you'll see that there's more of a gap here than there are between the other ones but all you do is just push this little nodule over and push this one over to kind of close that gap a little bit and to make it more even. So that's how you do the little bitty snowflakes. Really cute. You can use these on anything. Okay, and then to make the big ones, these, this one I did in the blue. And to make the center blue to match the pearls, I just used the cloudy blue alcohol ink and it was a perfect match to the blue teardrop. So this is the blue teardrop. Very beautiful. That's the one that I used for this one. And for this one, I just used the white and this is the one that we're going to do. So to make this, you'll need the white trim, you'll need something for the center, I'm going to use this again. You're going to need something for your base, it's just a little circle that I punched out using this little Marvy punch. And you're going to need, I'm using these sprays, these crystal sprays. And that's it. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off one of these. Okay. I have mine here. And then for this pearl trim, you're going to go in and you're going to separate each one of these. You're going to need six of the long ones and six of the short ones. And try to get off as much as that thread as you can, okay? So I've gone ahead and separated those to save some time. So I have 
the six long ones. And then I have the six shorter ones. Okay, I've also taken this, these sprays and I've pulled the little crystals off. So I have just the beads, which you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but um, like on this one, I put them in the center. You can see this one I didn't. And then another difference between this one and the one that's on my project is I also put them around here on the shorter parts as well. But that's up to you. You can add them or not. Okay, so it's really easy to make these. You're going to start with your punch circle. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, you're going to take your hot glue. You're going to take this center. I'm just going to hold it with my tweezers so I can sit it down easier. Just add some hot glue to the center and then stick it down in the center of that circle and try to get it as evenly in the center as you can okay once you have that you're going to add some glue and then you're going to add one of the longer pearl drops Make sure to have it straight. Okay. Then directly across from it, you're going to add another one. And this is going to help you to center your other ones. So I'm just going to add this one right across from there. Okay. Now, you're going to add two more on each side. So two more on this side, two more on this side. But you want to make sure you leave the room for the smaller ones when you add these to go in between them. Just like that and then rotate it around. Do the same thing on the other side. Add your larger one. And put in the last big one. As you can see, this goes pretty fast. Okay. Make sure they're pressed down really good into the glue and they're not going anywhere. So now you have this, okay? So now you're going to go in with your small ones and you're just going to go in between those, add some glue. It's a little easier to, if you pick it up with the smaller ones. Put that in there. Add your glue. Just be careful not to burn yourself if you're using hot glue. And just continue to add the small ones around in between the big ones until you go all the way around. Now these, you can really use any center you want. You could even put a flower in the middle if you want to. One of the little, the small butterfly kisses would be really pretty too. Okay, so now we have this. And what I'm going to do is add these for bling in the center. So what I do is I grab it with my tweezers so that it's like that in there, okay? And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right on the little 
edge of it and I'm going to stick it in between the center and the pearls. Stringy hot glue. And so I'm going to continue to do that. All the way around. And we're not worried about the hot glue strings right now. I'll clean them up when I'm finished because we're not done yet. You can normally get five of these around. One more. Push them in there. Pull these little strands off. Okay. So that's got the center part done. Okay, just add some dimension to it. And then what I'm going to do is take those same pieces, these crystal ones, and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the end of these small pearls, and I'm going to place this right there. And this is just going to add a little more bling to it. A couple more. And the last one. Okay. It's got glue strings everywhere. Pull those, some of those off. So there you go. There's your little snowflake. Quick and easy really cute. You can do this in any color. Carla has tons of those pearls in all different kind of colors so you can totally do any color you want. So this one is the white without the crystals on the little pearls and then this is with so you can see it just adds that extra little sparkle. Both beautiful though. And then there's the blue. Go! Check out Carla's store for these great pearl trims so you can make some snowflakes. They're good all through the winter, not just for Christmas. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching!